welcome back to The Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. And in today's video, if you are someone who is sick and tired of your makeup and skincare products turning against you and making you break out, this is the video for you. We have the acne expert, Marie Claire Kate, back on the channel. In case you missed any of our videos, make sure you go on ahead and check those out. But we're gonna be talking about makeup that won't break you out. We've got some examples of products, foundations, concealers, so on and so forth. And we're gonna be talking about some ingredients that you need to watch out for when it comes to picking new skincare products. So keep watching. Welcome back, how are you? I am doing fantastic. I am so glad we get to do this again. Thank do you. Do it again. So I've gotten a lot of questions um, about acne safe makeup and you have a bucket of things <laughs> that we can talk about and we're going to get into ingredients as well. So what, what's in your basket? Exactly. <laughs> so you know, you know me as the acne expert in my clients, for my customers, what is important to them is what can I use that's not going to break me out as far as makeup? Because there's so many um, brands and choices available. So we would just want to make sure that whatever you're using your, on your face is not going to aggravate the acne that you're experiencing. So these okay. are my favorites and I use them as well. And um, for I'm going to go through the list. So I have high end. So okay. For high end makeup. Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation. I love Ooh. it so much. I have two bottles of it. So the bottle looks like this. And it's Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation. Really love this. It's lightweight, but you look it, you look natural. I love it. It's buildable. So that's that one. Mm -hmm. And also my favorite, one of my favorites, it's an old school. I've been recommending this for probably the last 10 years and it's bare minerals matte so it's called bare minerals matte it must say matte on the cover um, the other ones will not work because they do have some pore clogging ingredients but bare minerals matte and my color is medium dark i've been using this for like 10 years yeah so that's that and, and thankfully, yeah. and thankfully, both of those they extended their shade range, so there's um, a little, oh, yeah. you know, more shades available. There are totally lots of shades available. So when you go to the counter, you'll see some light to really deep dark. So they've done a good job over the years to, you know, to accommodate the melanin. Yes. So that is that. And then, um, as far as high end, I don't wear it, but it's called Oxygenating Foundation. You can find that at Sephora. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. Oxygenating foundation is really good as well. It will not break you out. And then if you're trying to save your coins and you don't want to spend $60 on a foundation, <laughs> <laughs> you can just drive to CVS or your local drugstore. And that's where I love Maybelline Fit Matte and Poreless. Mm. So Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless really love 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 this um this one right here it's uh very affordable i think it's eight or ten dollars yeah will and not will not break you out at all so right you can even get that as low as like five six bucks if you go on amazon or even walmart hello tell yes. people so again <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Parlay's Foundation. Yeah, and that's a, that's amazing. another one that has a lot of um, shades now as well too. I believe they go oh, up to fifty shades or, or forty. Like forty shades, so no excuse, and it's very affordable. So that is that as far as drugstore brand that I use. And then another one that is really good is called L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you've seen that. It's very yes. popular that will not break you out it's very acne safe and if you have dry skin but it's dehydrated and you tend to break out because dehydrated skin can break out as well uh there is maybelline dream velvet soft matte hydrating foundation i don't use it because i'm super oily but if you're dehydrated and you find that 
you need some hydration, but you don't want something that's going to break you out. So I'll say the name again, Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Okay. And then um, concealers. <laughs> Because people may not think of concealers as something that can cause acne, right? Exactly, exactly. And thank God, my favorite, our favorite Maple List, and it is the NARS Creamy Radiant Foundation. Yes. We nice. all know that one. It's our favorite. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my. Yes, so this is acne safe. They have tons, tons, and tons, like a wide range of shades available. So um, I love these. They will not break you out. And then another one is Bare Minerals Well Rested Face and Eyes Brightener. That mm -hmm. one is acne safe as well. And then Bare Minerals, they have a loose powder, it's a, but it's a concealer. I'm not a big fan of powder concealers so i don't wear it but if you found the loose powder concealer from bare minerals you can use that one too okay, okay. and then we will get into powders powders i have two um of course maybelline fit me <laughs> this is very acne safe you can find that at your local drugstore okay and if you want to go high end, thank you, Jesus. Iman, Iman. Luxury Press Powder. Nice. But it's a luxury press powder. Iman Luxury Press Powder. So very, very, very acne safe. Okay? Okay. So that's a good starter. Um, and then I'm in the middle of researching more because people send me tons of requests. And you'll be so surprised that a lot of the brands out there, when you're acne prone, it's like, I'm like, okay, this one, not this one. So I am um, going to research some more uh, this summer. But for now, those are like the basics and that can help everyone. Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll put up, you guys, I'll put up on the screen where you can follow Marie Claire and get more information when that information yes. drops. Yeah. So if you're breaking out, you're acne prone, your makeup is very important. It really, makeup matters when it comes to acne prone. And this is a good starter for you. So you have your high brand and you have your affordable, your drugstore brand as well. Okay. okay. So, so as we're sitting at home, we're like, oh wow. Okay. So we have an amazing list for makeup, but what's the, what's the connecting point? Are there certain ingredients that we should look out for that um, you know, can make the skin a little bit more acne prone. Exactly. So when it comes to makeup and I made a list for you guys, so I wouldn't forget, you'll notice that it'll say DC, DC dye and colors, right? And some of them are very, very comedogenic, like DC red number three, DC red number 17, DC red number 21, number 30 and number 36 are very, comedogenic so when you're looking at makeup because they put them in there so the other numbers if you see DC red 12 don't worry about it but if you see number three number 17 number 21 30 and 36 that will break you out those dyes in colors okay and then we look also at Lorette so it's a it's a pH balancer Lorette number four is in a lot of lot of makeup so if if you see laurette number four um you and you're acne prone you're gonna have to like, like yes yes <laughs> yes yes um and also whenever it says um coconut oil so they'll add that to some hydrating foundation you'll see coconut oil or shea butter or sulfated castor oil or sulfated jojoba oil. If it says sulfated castor oil, castor oil on its own will not break you out, but it's sulfated castor oil that will break you out if you are acne prone, okay? Mm. So um, those are the most common one when it comes to makeup in what I just talked about these they do not have them, okay? Okay, perfect. What are yeah. some ingredients to look out for when it comes to skincare? Yes, to, for skincare, definitely number one is sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl sulfate. You don't want that in your 
cleanser. Who needs that? So sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, I'll pronounce it cetyryl alcohol. It's C E T E A R Y L alcohol. And it has to be together with something called Ceteria 20. I'm going to spell it for you so that my accent doesn't throw you off. It's <laughs> C. <laughs> you know we that we love there. that Haitian accent, honey. The Haitian, you know, it's letting me be great. So it's spelled C E T E A R E T H 20. It must be in the same formula. You'll see them listed together. Very, very comedogenic. And also, there can be coconut oil, you know, in your moisturizer or your sunscreen. Um, argan oil are now in a lot of skincare ingredients because it's very, very popular. So again, we want to say if you're acne prone, those are the ingredients that you want to avoid. If you're not acne prone, by all means, just use whatever you're using, okay? Um, and what else? Soybean oil lately has been a lot of skincare because... Soy is so popular, but it's actually not that great for our skin. <laughs> and uh, it causes, yeah, it really aggravates acne. So again, if you're not acne prone, go ahead and use it. But if you're acne prone, soybean oil is something you should avoid in your, um, in your skincare um, routine. Oh, and also algae, algae, A-L-G-A-E red algae or any type of algae is also very comedogenic and that's also popular in skincare ingredients and makeup these days so watch out for those so those yeah. are the more popular ones okay so you guys you got a long laundry list of homework here i'm going to make it easy on you i'm going to put all of the names of the ingredients that Marie Claire mentioned. I'll put them in a blog post so you have them and they're easy to access and you can share it and you know save it and reference to it in the future. And Marie Claire, you are an angel. We love you. Ever since you've been on the channel, people have been like, oh my God, I love her. And people are referencing things that you said in our videos on Instagram and, wow. and here on YouTube. And we just love you. It's been great. I've gotten some DMs from your followers who are saying like how much they enjoy our videos. So I'm sending lots of love to all of them. Thank you so much for receiving me so well. Thank you. I mean, don't you just love when Acne Expert is here in the channel? It's just like a grand kiki and we learn so much. Make sure you check her out on Instagram at Acne Expert. There's some amazing acne transformations that you like, you really have to see. Also check out her product line. I will leave links where you can buy it below. She's a medical esthetician. So if you're in the Los Angeles area and you're looking to improve your skin, I will leave links to where you can find that information out as well. Don't worry if you were trying to sit here and jot down like, you know, all of the ingredients and things like that, because I'm going to put them in a blog post that you can access below in the description box something that you can share with people, reference it in the future, and also pin it to Pinterest. And you know, sharing is caring. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box, and I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.